Okay, in this presentation, we're going to follow on from value at risk. And what we're going to do is look at a thing called tail value at risk, which is sort of extends the idea of values at risk or value at risk. Value at risk is essentially closely related to the concept of quartiles, uh, quantiles and percentiles and so on in the context of a probability distribution. But they have a financial mathematics uh, application. So for a large portfolio of insurance policies, the underlying distribution for losses in the current year, remember that, okay, has a Pareto type 2 distribution with a shape parameter alpha equals 2.9 and a scale parameter theta equals 12.5. All losses in the next year are expected to increase, increase by 5%. Okay, so that's relevant in how we answer this question. Okay, for the losses in the next year, the term the tail value at risk in the, at a security level of 95%, 0 0.95. Okay, so tail value at risk. Now, essentially, this is sort of extends the idea of a value at risk. And what we have to do, actually, is calculate the value at ri risk for this calculation. Now, I actually have it done in a previous video. So suffice to say, I'm just going to give you the number there. And you can just work it out. Essentially, P equals 0 0.95, theta equals 12.5, and alpha equals 2.9. When I sub it into that equation there, we should get an answer around 22.6, I believe. Now, this is what we're looking at in specifically here. Uh, this is for both the Pareto type one and the Pareto type two distribution. Now, in this particular instance, we're looking at this one here, okay? So essentially what we need is to have, a, uh, we need to know the value at risk for the current year, or for the, for, uh, that it, uh, this is based on. And also what we have to do is just uh, add in these additional terms, multiply it by alpha divided by alpha minus one, and then add theta times uh, theta divided by alpha minus one. Okay. So uh, just as a quick uh, bit of discussion of what it's about. Now I sort of said this before. I don't want to get too much uh, too bogged down in details, but essentially this the VAR is related to the percentiles of distribution. Okay, the ninety fifth percentile and so on. So the tail value at risk is of a random variable at a security level P, denoted T bar. I sort of vary this actually how I write it down. It's the expected value of X given that it exceeds uh, the variance, okay? So it's essentially a conditional expectation given, uh, uh, given that uh, it exceeds a certain value. That's it, really, okay? So T bar is expected value of X, given the fact that the X value has, ex or the value of X is in excess of the VAR threshold, okay? So essentially, it's a conditional expectation, okay? Now, a conditional expectations, a conditional mean values come up quite a lot in this sort of line of work. So, uh, there's a bit of a sort of procedure for doing it, okay? The, here we're denoting the VAR, VAR as pi p, okay, and yeah, it's essentially uh, an expected value, okay, that's the uh, x times f of x, okay, and there we go, I think that's an x, it shouldn't be there, sorry, anyway, you can just check that yourselves, uh, yeah, you can, I think that's just a typo, but anyway, this is... I'll come back to that, actually, because it's worth actually so showing how to derive this. Okay, I might have a typo there. But in the me meantime, this is the key thing here. It's expect essentially the expected value of uh, the conditional expected value. Okay, so uh, like I said before, uh, VAR of the value at risk, VAR or VAR, I'm not really sure how to verbalize that, at a security level P of X is 22.618. Nine, okay, and that was done in the previous video, so I'm just going to sort of just give you that there. You could screen, take a screenshot or pause the screen and have a quick look at it if you want to check it. But we get 22.6189, and essentially what we do there is calculate the tail value at risk, and that is essentially using our value of the VAR. Uh, Alpha divided by alpha minus one. Alpha here is 2.9. 2.9 uh, 
divided by 1.9 gives us 1.5263. VAR is 22.6. Uh, theta divided by alpha minus 1 is 12.5 uh, divided by 2.9 minus 1, 6.5789. Essentially, that's just a bit of calculator work. So we should get uh, an answer of 41.0953. Now, just actually, there's a little uh, twist in the question. This is the current year, okay? Uh, but what we're asked for is next year's value, okay? So essentially, just multiply that by 5%. Okay, and um, we should get an answer close to 43.1501. Okay, now again, rounding error comes into that. But anyway, that's it. So that's our answer there, 43.1501. And again, just to sort of highlight the fact, I'll just go back to the question at the start. Yeah, all for the losses in the next year, determine the tail value at risk. At a security level of 95%. Okay.